The last few weeks or the last month of this challenge have been very tough and something needs to change. It's week eight, let's get it. Missed out on market close yesterday, wanted to close out of one of my positions. Let's take a look how yesterday went. All right, so here we are in the handy dandy Robin Hood. It is 20 minutes before market opens. It's a little different this week. So it is 1.10 here in Portugal. The U.S. had daylight savings time last week. We did not hear. So as of right now, my timing is a little off, which is part of the reason I didn't realize market closed when it did yesterday, but it is what it is. Going back, looking at what we're in and what we need to get out of, let's quickly look at what we're in. All right, so I have a 175 call on Apple. Uh, we're currently down $20 on it. Let's take a look at what my plan was for that. So here's Apple and this was my plan. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Got in a little bit earlier than I like, but yeah, I got in about 172.80, but it pulled back as low as 172.13. If I could get out anywhere around 174, I'd be cool. It actually wicked that this morning and now it's coming down. So may not be working out in my favor. I'll have to get in, see what happens. But yeah, as of right now, is not going my way, but we haven't hit my stop loss. We came very close, but missed it just by a hair. So that's what we're looking at with Apple. Next up from Apple, we had ARM. And I what I think happened with this was I think they'd have killed me because with the movement we got in the morning yesterday when I got in, I should have been up. I actually put in an order. You can see it got canceled. Put in an order to take profits and it would have been about $11 profit. Just me getting out, this was one of those situations where... I guess I didn't pick the smartest contract. I got something too far out of the money and as my plan tried to play out, it's not playing out. So let's quickly take a look at what I had planned for ARM. So looking at ARM, I got in like right here yesterday and I know it looks messy. A few minutes before it reversed to come up, first tried to get out up here, didn't let me, then it came, had a little pullback. I thought, hey, maybe I can get my exit, but the contract really just cut more than in half yesterday. So I'm gonna just try to get out of this at open. Looking at my trade plan, it did play out this morning in pre-market, but I need this stuff to happen during the market hour. So that's one thing I'm struggling with a little bit. One thing that's really been killing me is my charts and everything have been playing out. The time that the plays have been playing out has been playing out in after hours when options, they don't really work. So these institutional strategies work and if I were buying and selling shares, this would work a lot better, but that's not the case. So that is one of the struggles I face a little bit trading options. It's probably the hardest part of options for me is having pre and post market. So last but not least, I had some $45 calls on Intel. Should have just held them. I bought in for 66, sold out for 66 on one. And I saw an average down opportunity, so I bought in for 53 and sold out for 53, sold out for 65 on the other. So right there between the two, took $12 profit. Thought I took more because I thought I entered at a lower price, but it is what it is. This is what it looked like yesterday. This was the only one that really worked out right away. Came down here, had a pullback, then ran up. Broke through that profit target, and once we got through that profit target, I took profit. The contracts, they had a higher IV when I got in. And then when I got out, their IV wasn't as high. So that is why that first contract did not take profits. That's how Monday went. Let's hope today goes a lot better. I think I have about $130 buying power. We just had CPI, so I am hoping to turn a little into a lot. We have some catching up to do, so let's get to it. So that it for 28. This one was crazy. My trade plan actually played out, but the contract wasn't close enough to the money. So I got slapped on this one. Then I bought 175 Apple call for 126, sold out for 89. This was a swing, just didn't work out my way. Next up, bought a 170 Tesla put. This was a swing as well. Paid 94 for it. Sold out for 170. This thing actually ended up running up over 1K, but I would have had to hold this for a few days. Next up, I bought a spy put, 112 spy put. Paid 29, sold out for $6. Bought a QQQ put, paid nine, sold out for six. QQQ call, paid 124. Sold out for 26. So 
just taking the L's left and right here. Bought a Robin Hood call for fifty dollars, sold out for ninety seven cents. So yeah, taking the L's. Bought an Nvidia call for one eighteen, sold out for forty five. Bought an AMD call for seventy two, sold out for eighty three. This was a zero day to expiration, and and now we're all caught up with the account where it is. I have no idea how we're down five dollars today on the account but we are currently holding a 515, 513 put credit spread. I, I recently just changed my account to a margin account. If you're interested in seeing the video where I made that announcement, hey, be sure to click on this card right here. But yeah, I made some changes so I can have a little bit more control because I want to show you the chart for this trade and then I want to show you how it ended up playing out. This is a chart for my trade. I got in on this candle right here, this blue one. All right, but this is on a four hour chart. Let's drop down to a one hour chart. The one hour chart, I got in on this candle and I got in right here on this candle. It started off going really well. Then it came down here. Then it came back up here. Then it came down here. And it continued to come down. Then it went back up. Then it came down and went back up and closed right here. Then it came back up, then it came down. And honestly, with the balance I have in my account, the market makers are really doing all they can to destroy the contract values. And because of that, I am having the hardest time doing this. Made the decision to slow it down a bit. Uh, I wanted to slow it down a bit, but I couldn't get quality contracts. I made the decision to switch to a margin account so I can trade spreads and looking at it for those of you that don't understand spreads what this allowed me to do was buy a higher quality trade something i have a higher conviction of expiring in the money it lets me get in there for a lower price so for instance if we look at the individual contracts in order to buy a 515 put i would have needed 357 dollars. so when i bought it, it would have been about 300 plus dollars and the one that I sold against it, when I bought it, this was $250. So if I wanted either of these contracts, I would have needed a lot more than I put towards this contract. I put $90 towards this contract. I am currently up 17 and when market opens since, it is deeper in the money, closer to expiration this contract should be up more. So at the end of the day, we'll see what my profits are looking like on this. When it comes to spreads, you profit off the different. The highest this spread can be valued at is $200 right here where you say it says value 107. The highest that can go is 200. I paid 90 for it, so the most I can make off this trade is $110. Keeping in mind that I paid $90, that's okay. I don't need to hit a home run for all these trades. I just need to make trades that don't keep pushing me backwards. So that is why I made this move and that's the plan going forward. Good thing is looking at this market closed around the 512 level, like 513 level yesterday. And this contract, it expires tomorrow. So there'll still be some time. I won't get the 100% on it, but hopefully I can at least get 50%. Anywhere upwards of 50% will be a big help. We got the FOMC tomorrow, so I can probably hop in some more high quality contracts. But now that I have spreads, I have the comfort of kind of sitting and relaxing a little bit. If we look at this spread and look at how it traded yesterday, I was up and down on this position, but it didn't move too crazy. So when I got in yesterday, I got in 90. The lowest it went was actually 82, which isn't too bad. I was down $8. And now we're up 107. I'm chilling on this contract. It should be a lot better now. And now I can sit and stomach more of the games that the market has been throwing at me and really sit through and wait out these trades that I'm watching on the four hour time frame and actually get good contracts. Here we are in the handy dandy Robin Hood once again. It's about 40 minutes before market open and I still need to update you on what happened yesterday. Real quick, I wanna show you the account sitting at 123. Our buying power is sitting at 37.48 and we are currently holding a 
five sixteen five fourteen put debit spread that we are down fifteen dollars on and the break even is five fifteen on one so that's where we are right now let's quickly take a look at what happened yesterday last you saw we had a put credit spread on the spy we paid ninety dollars for it bought it on the 18th at 1 34 p.m and we sold out on the 19th 24 hours and three minutes later at 1 37 p.m right there locking in 50 dollars profit i'll be back to notify you on the status of our account this is pretty much how yesterday went started the day off 122 fomc happened and we dropped down here now we're coasting let me update you on our trade so we bought a call on cmg not the wisest decision paid 15 for it i, I should have got out as soon as i got in because this immediately went up to about 150 percent profit i uh, should have sold when i had the chance but i did not now i'm stuck in it this is what happens when you get stuck in the options contract there was no plan or foresight with that the spread on the spy that we were in so we bought in for 103 it sold off and then it was coming back once powell started speaking at fomc it quickly went against me and had this just been a regular call I, I this this would have been done done but since it was a spread i got out with a lot more than i would have had this been a call so the spreads are working when it comes to limiting my downside but did not really take the upside from this so you got beat up pretty bad took a large loss on this and then i bought a call credit spread or a call debit spread on amd the market opens in 20 minutes yesterday when market closed amd was about 180 and now amd is at 184.75 so we're up 50 percent as of yesterday if amd continues to run we could be close to hitting max profit on this if uh, amd picks up its momentum which i think it should so may end up being able to get close to that max spread and, and make back the loss we had on the spy all right so that is where we are starting off today we have 32 dollars buying power i may consider using this on the day trade but i may wait till tomorrow we'll see but yeah that's going to do it for today i will catch you tomorrow so so here we are yet again the portfolio is now sitting at 141 i think that's up from yesterday so that's cool on the week Hey, we're green on the week now. Okay. On the month. I don't like that, but hey, back to the week. Now going on, AMD did not age. All right, let's take a look. Where's AMD? I'm so confused. So something's off with AMD. I don't know what's up with it, but I had a call credit spread on AMD. It's showing I bought a call for 28 and I sold another call for 43 something's messed up here i think i bought the spread for 18 dollars somewhere in that range and then i sold out for 16 dollars. so i think i took a two dollar loss on that spread i had on amd but what i see here with the contracts does not make sense so we're going to move on and we'll deal with that later what else did we trade yesterday we traded apple and it's about to get even more confusing. This is the downside to spreads. Spreads are cool because you can make more and you can do more strategies and whatnot. But if we take a look at Apple, it shows I'm up 284%, up $35 on the contract, and the total value on the contracts I have is $48. Let's go in and break it down. I'm currently in two different strategies with three different spreads. I bought a 170 put as soon as I got the notification from CNBC that Apple was being sued. All right, so bought in, 170 put, $17. Wish I just held this, maybe bought a second, but bought this. And then I sold another, I sold a 165 against it for 15. So now I have a spread that I essentially paid $2 for. So limited my risk, got $15 back from this. Then I bought two 165 puts, paid $22 total or 11 cents per contract. The next strike down, I sold against it for a profit. So I got $13 per contract. So profiting $2 per contract and I got $26 back to add to my balance. After that, I bought that same put that I had, the, the same put that I initially had that I still had, but was spreaded. 
I bought in for $46, but I did not want to spread it again because I saw more value in just taking profit. So from that trade right there, 46 to 88, I made $42. That right there is almost 100% return. So I took the money and I ran. Still got about two hours left to market open. I'm trying to get this video out today because hey, because I do not work on Saturdays and this video has to go up tonight. So let's get to it. The account was at 200, now it's at 196. But what's most important is our buying power has increased from this morning. I believe this morning we had $90, now we got 122. First thing we did was at the start of the day, Apple kind of, if we look at this chart, Apple came down. I sold somewhere close to the bottom. I closed the side I sold on the put credit spread. So I closed it out. I don't remember what price I bought it for. Let's look. So I originally sold it for, oh, I guess I sold it for 15. So actually I would have taken a loss on that if it wasn't for this put I bought right here, this uh, $17 put I bought. Ended up selling it for $86. On that whole transaction, we made money. Doing the math on this is going to be interesting, but Going on, the next trade we did, we had the put debit spread. I just sold the spreads as a whole. The spreads were right here where I had the 165 put that I bought, I sold it to close, and the 162.50 that I sold, I bought it to close. And from those, we got $3 for each of those contracts for a total of $6, so not too bad with those. So from there, we came up on Apple made a little bit this morning. Then I got in, traded Tesla. It didn't quite go to plan. So Tesla, I believe probably like right here was what I bought, tried to sell right here. Then I saw it coming back up and I think I sold like somewhere right here. You never want to be stuck in this on a Friday when it's zero days to expiration. So I got out just to look at the trade. So what I bought, you see a lot of cancel concept. Oh, I actually made a dollar. Okay. I bought a put, I got filled at 139 and I sold out for 140. So I made a dollar off that. It wasn't a failure, but I made a day trade on it. So my, my day trades are worth a little bit more, but I need to slow down on my trades anyway. So don't need to be making day trades every day. Next up, Boeing. Right now it's looking like I did it at the right time, but first, I bought a put, I bought a 187.50 put. I paid 137 for it. And then what I did was I created a spread on Boeing. I sold a 185 put. I sold it for $100 or a dollar per share. And right now we're currently up $3 on it. So essentially if you do the math, I got this spread since I paid 137 for this leg and I sold this one for 100. I, I got a spread for $37, meaning that I have a max profit on this of $223. Not bad risk to reward. On the four hour, it looks like Boeing's in the supply zone, but I'm not sure the move was gonna happen today. So I got in, wrote it down a little bit. So on the day, the account's not closed yet, but the account's sitting at 196. On the week, hey, we're up. 98.57. I think at the start of this video, we had 300, something like that. But that's from last week. I'm cooling with how we did this week. Trading with the spread, you can see when it started. Didn't do any trading on the 16th or the 17th. Once we got in the spreads, you can see started here. We have progress. We're moving up. Is this helpful to the accounts? We'll see. And I want to know how the stock market treats you this week. Did you make money? Did you lose money? If you made money, I hope you made a lot more than me. I've seen so many of y'all killing it in Discord. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.